Uh, they say you need to go where your audience is. And for many nonprofits, that's increasingly WhatsApp. Turn.io has created a platform just for social impact organization that enables your nonprofit to set up a help desk, build a chatbot, or deliver behavior change communication via WhatsApp. Lise Lagsvern, Global Partnerships Lead at Turn.io, will explain more in this demo. So at Turn, we believe that chat can change lives. It's quite a big statement to make that. Most of you are familiar with WhatsApp. Now, it's important to understand the ecosystem. There's the consumer app that we're all familiar with, sending pictures to friends and family. Then there's the small business app, very often used for small business. Think about your local pharmacy or barber shop using it to share open and closing times. And then there's the WhatsApp business platform. That's where the magic happens because it allows you to engage with not just thousands, but hundreds to millions of users all at the same time using the WhatsApp business API. To access the WhatsApp business API, you need a business service provider. Turn is one, but there are many out there, Twilio, Infobib, names that you're most familiar with. But with Turn and with the WhatsApp business platform, we always encourage you to think about the problem you're trying to solve using WhatsApp. You can use it to inform your audience about important information. You can create it as a support desk to support teams on the ground. You can even build a utility to provide vaccination registrations or voting registrations. Some of the most famous services are built on the Turn platform um, and using the business platform as well, like the WHO COVID support system. Also, you can use it for mental health um, explained. And then lastly, the U, um, climate action change bot has also been built on this platform. But without further ado, let me rather show you what it actually looks like if I go into the product. I assume you all can see my screen here. What you see here is the user interface. Um, very easy to see that you can see that I'm chatting to myself as the end user. I've got my WhatsApp open here on the left hand side. What you can see here is there's a full profile of who I'm talking to. I can manually type to this user or I can use automation to, to communicate with them and give them all the key information they need in a short period of time. The two building blocks of a chatbot is content and automation. The most important one here is the content where you can very easily add content. You can build menus, rather easy to use. And then automation is by based um, triggers that you set up. In this instance, I'm going to show you a quick example of a trigger that has been set up so you can see. This trigger you'll see that is set up that once a message is received that matches the exact word register, and I'm going to do it this right here for you here, that it will send me an automatic response. So what this helps you is to communicate with all your users in a very easy way without having to manually type that in. I can then respond this very easily back as the end user, and you will see how the automation is set up. This is all done using Turn. You could also send reminders. So if you want to schedule a reminder to engage somebody for their next vaccination um, or maybe their visa appointment, you can set up a very easy reminder based on a specific category. I'm just using this example of I want to send a reminder to myself. I can choose the message I want to send to this user. I can even schedule the time at what when I want to send this message to um, this user or this user group, and there you have it set. Particularly helpful if you're using stage-based messaging. Imagine you're supporting pregnant mothers throughout their journey, um, and you can send them these reminders at a specific time. If you don't know where to start, get started. We have a really great um, library of playbooks that's free to download, built by the best um, in the global market in terms of even WhatsApp services. They are available for you to use free. And you can also get all your insights and see how people are using the service, how they're engaging with you and where they're engaging with. And lastly, you can access directly and integrate external services like your CRM, database, um, any kind of external services using our API service as well. That's a very quick overview. We do have a 
summit that is happening in November. It is going to be an in-person summit as well as a um, hybrid summit that we invite you to attend where you can learn more about WhatsApp and using that for in. Thank you so much.